Sophia Hua here. Today I'm going to try duping the Lilac You A Lot palette because I really like the look of this palette and um, I was thinking I can't actually, I, I don't have these colours in my collection because a lot of the shimmers were durochromes and I don't have hardly any durochromes. But then I was playing with my Super Shop Shadow from Colourpop in green which looks like this and I was trying to get a certain colour and I was layering it over pinks and things and I was getting some really pretty lavender shades <laughs> and so I thought maybe I could do it. So I used, let's have a look, how many was it? One, two, three, four, five, six palettes to do my Lilac You A Lot dupe. And as I said, I don't have a lot of those durochromes, so I can't dupe those without adding other things to them. And this is what I ended up with. So this bit here. Ignore those ones over there for now. <laughs> and I am wearing this look from this palette with a couple of other things. So that is my version of the Lilac You Were Locked palette and I'm fully aware that I don't have the Durochromes but what I do have is the Super Shock Shadow in green so if I choose so I put that over that lavender one and hopefully you can see how it's bright. If I just put over half of it, it might be better. But put over half of that one and half of that one. So I've put it, I've put it here, up. Put it here, up. That one I did do the whole thing. So you can sit, hopefully you'll be able to see how it just gives it that added something with the extra sparkle and, and a little bit of a shift but I have some other things too that I thought would be handy I've got my prismatic yeah. palette and I've got this colour here which is called prismatic <laughs> so I've got this one here so hopefully I might, I might have to do that on my finger so you can really see it so I've got so it's really pretty creamy kind of lavender colour with a pink shift. So in certain lights it looks kind of silver with um, a goldy tint to it and then the pink glitter comes out and then it, and it, but it can also look kind of lavender like on the screen I can see it looks lavender. So I, could, I can use that to kind of give it more dimension. I can also use my Hypnotic Lights Milani Lip Topper. This this isn't an eye topper, but I have used it as an eye topper. And this is, I've used this quite a lot, and it is running out. But you can see that there. So that's purple with pink shift, or I'm actually wearing that on my lips today over some purple eyeliner, and I've got that in the middle of my eyes today. So you can see that just gives it a little bit of something different. I can achieve the different kind of duochrome seal if I play with some other things. But this is what we're working on. I'm going to do some looks. And this is look number one. And I will do some more looks. And then I will give you my conclusions. And do I still want this palette or not? Comment now if you think I do before you watch any more. So here is my look two, and I didn't film this one. I thought I'd just go through what I did. So I did a kind of a lighter look because I felt like if you got the lilac palette, you'd probably be looking for a more lighter look because the palette looks lighter overall. And look one was fairly um, dramatic and dark. So. This time I went more light and um, I would have started with this colour but I've used 
this colour now a couple of times and I don't like it. I don't like it on me. And it's, apart from the fact that the formula isn't great, it's not that pigmented, you've got to build it up quite a lot, um, it's too grey toned for my skin tone and it just looks kind of dirty on my skin because I've got a very yellow base skin. So I didn't use this one. What I did instead was I took this one out of the Zodiac palette and I used that one and you can see the difference in the colour. So this is the one that I first put in the palette and this is the one from the Zodiac palette and it's just a little bit pinker and so I very lightly with a fluffy brush put that in the crease and it doesn't look dirty on me like the other one did. So I actually think I'm going to swap this colour out and put this colour in because that one suits me better. So you're looking at this half of the palette. And then I went in with this colour here and I just did the very out a corner with that and then I fluffed it out with a fluffy brush to make it lighter because that's a very pigmented colour. And then I went in with this colour and I put that all over the lid and then I was looking through my collection again and I discovered that I had these two classy cake ones which are the same colours as these two but more sparkly so I can go more of a satin way or I can go more of a sparkly way so I went with this one here which is the Fairy Winkle from Classy Cake I can show you the difference, you can see how shiny and sparkly that one is and then the one that I put in the palette it's just not as sparkly and shiny and same with the other one so that's the one I stuck in the palette this is the classy cake one, purple hair don't care and it's just, that's the purple hair don't care from classy cake and that's the one I put in from the BYS and although they're the same colour I don't know how well it'll show on camera but in real life it really shows up that this one is way more sparkly and shiny than this one so I can choose which way I want to go so I kind of added that in there just as a, as another option so I, saying all that I actually went in with this one and I just put a very little bit between that purple and the pink that I used there and I used this colour here just on my inner corner and then I went in with my Essence Purple Pencil Purple Rain and did the bottom lash line and then I went in with this one and just went over that on the bottom lash line so I've got a darker bottom lash line than the top and then I wasn't going to put any liner on the top but then I sort of felt it needed something so I just went in with my NYX Vivid Brights Vivid Violet and I just did a little line just on the top, I didn't do a wing or anything there and I tight lined with the Black Revolution one and on my lips I have got the Maybelline Dreamer Super, is it a super stay? Yeah, super stay matte ink. And then over the top, I went in with my Karen Morrell Orchid Bloom lipstick. And that's what I ended up with. So I think it turned out really nice. So I changed one of the, I changed one of the shadows around in my palette. So. I don't think this one is exactly the same colour as in the original palette. Not that any of them probably are, but but this one suits me better, so I that's why I decided to put that one in. It's a bit more darker and more pigmented, so if I want a light colour for buffing out, I have to really use a fluffy brush and just a tiny little bit because they're really pigmented those colours that they work really well. So look too. And now I'm taking my daughter and her friends out shopping. So, enforced shopping. 
I'll try not to spend too much money, but there's no guarantee. So we're up to look three with my version of the Lilac U a lot palette. So this, these are just some extra colours that I've been playing around with, and these, this is the actual palette that I made, inspired by the Lilac U a lot palette. And today, what am I going to do? I'm going to go in with this one, I think, just from the BH Cosmetics Studio. Oh. I think I'm going to do a sharp blend today. So I'm going to get some of my oh, little tapes. Before we start it. go in with my Master Precise Black Eyeliner and I'm going to do a um, black wing like um, Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner Guys. darkest shimmer in purple that I have in this palette. I'm going to go in with a bit of this purple here. fall out on my face because I'm not being too big of a brush but that's okay because I've done my face makeup. That's what I'm looking like so far. And I'm going to go in with this shimmer here. Okay. Yeah. And I'm also going to go into this white that I've added in. So this is the white from the So Hates Revolution palette. I think it's called Penguin. I lost the name of the back, so I'm not sure. And I'm actually going to go in with this Essence Hello here. And this one is called Halo Kiss from the Halo Powder Collection for my inner corner. I'm going to grab one. And it's kind of like a white with it just a little bit of a iridescent purple shift, which is really pretty. Okay. 
so I'm going to use my Glad on LA Girl gel liner in Paradise Purple and I'm going to put that underneath. And I really love this colour purple liner. I think it goes really well with it. And then I'm going to get this one again. And now I'm going to do my face paint. So this is where we're at. And I just want to go under here with a little bit of a pinky colour, so I'm going to go with this colour here just to warm up underneath a bit. It's amazing how just a little tiny bit like that can make a difference. I don't know whether you'll see it on here, but I can see it in real life that it just warms up that under eye a little bit because these, although I love these deep lilac -y purple colours, they're quite cool on my skin tone and um, I need something to warm them up a bit otherwise they start looking a bit colourless. <laughs> I could just throw some lipstick on and call it a day here with and some mascara. Do I want that lipstick? No, I don't want that lipstick. Change my mind. Okay, I'm going with a gloss. This is the L'Oreal Paris gloss in Protest Queen. It's just a very pale, warm pink. And I could just throw some mascara on here and be done. But I'm not going to be done because I want to play with these. So these are my BH Cosmetics highlights. And this one is in Chill Pill. And this one is in Sack. The Chill Pill in Sack. So you can see what they look like. And I'm going to have to play with those. So I could totally wreck the look, but that's fine. I just want to play. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the darker one first, which is Chill Pill. And I'm just going to pick it up on a brush. I'll do one eye first, and then you can decide whether you think it was a good idea, or I should have stopped while I was here. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe my brush off. And then I'm going to try the other colour. Oh, those two colours go so well together. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So this eye, I put just that little extra something on. This eye, I just lift the way it was. So I'm going to put my purple Pros, my purple pros colourpop mascara on the bottom, and then I'm going to put my Max Factor one on the top, and then I'll be back. And there is my finished look for the look So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed seeing me go through the process of duping out the palette, doing some looks, and deciding am I going to buy that palette? Or aren't I going to buy that palette? And even after I duped it, I still wanted it. And it was only by doing the looks that really made me think. I, I don't think I, I do want it after all. So doing the looks definitely makes a huge difference for me. I, it's not enough just to dupe the palette for me. I have to actually use it. Because part of the whole new palette thing is getting the palette and using it. And then it's like, okay, what am I going to use next? I have the new palette syndrome. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm calling it. So, um, no, this was a very valuable exercise. And I had fun playing with all my purpley lilac stuff. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.